The Me Too movement, which forced three members of the U.S. Congress to resign in the last week, has turned its spotlight on President Trump and his alleged past conduct. Women who say they were harassed by Trump are calling for a congressional investigation. The White House strongly denies those claims. Park Se-young with more. Inspired by the Me Too movement, which empowered women to name their sexual abusers, three women who have previously accused President Trump of sexual harassment have reiterated their claims. About 12 years ago, as a young receptionist in Trump Tower, I was forcibly kissed by Mr. Trump during our first introduction. Mr. Trump repeatedly kissed my cheeks and ultimately my lips in an encounter that has since impacted my life. There are just three among at least 16 women who have accused Trump of sexual misconduct since he first launched his presidential campaign. Now they're calling on Congress to open an investigation. They've investigated other Congress members, so I think it only stands fair that he be investigated as well. Accusations of sexual assault and harassment have jeopardized the careers of many U.S. lawmakers, including three members of Congress who resigned last week. The White House again denied such claims, adding that voters dismissed them when they elected Trump. Look, the president has addressed uh, these accusations directly and denied all of these allegations. And this took place long before he was elected to be president. And the people of this country had a decisive uh, election, supported President Trump. The U.S. ambassador to the United Nations said women who accuse someone of sexual misconduct need to be heard, even if it involves a president. I mean, the, you know, the same thing is women who accuse anyone should be heard. They should be heard and they should be dealt with. And I think following the women's TV appearance, a handful of Democratic senators are calling on President Trump to resign. Park Se-young, Arirang News.